Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic inverse functions. Suppose we have a function y equal to f of x. Now the inverse function for this function f is a function g for which g of y is equal to x and vice versa. That is for this function y equal f of x, the inverse function is a function g for which x equal to g of y. Okay, such an inverse function to the function f is denoted by f inverse. Now to find the formula for f inverse, we have to solve the equation y equal to f of x uh, for x, that is in terms of y. We have y equal to f of x is our function. So to find the formula for the uh, f inverse, we have to solve this equation for x in terms of y and we will get x equal to another function of y. If that solution is unique, then set f inverse of y as equal to x. So the graph of f inverse is obtained from that of f by flipping the figure to interchange the horizontal and vertical axis. That is, uh, if we have a graph like this, if this is the graph of the function y equal to f of x, so to, in, to find the inverse uh, function that is inverse of f that is to find the graph of inverse uh, of f we have to flip uh, uh, this graph with respect to the line y equal to x that is the graph will be like this that is we are flipping the uh, figure to interchange this x y axis and x axis then we will get the graph of uh, the function f inverse maybe we need to restrict uh, the domain of f before there is an inverse function for example, suppose we have the function y equal to minus 2x plus 4. Suppose we have a function y equal to minus 2x plus 4. So uh, we have the graph of this function. When x equal 0, we have y equal to 4. That is this point. When x y equal 0, we have x equal to 4 minus 4 by 2. That is 4 by 2. That is 2. So this is point. So this will be the graph of that function y equal to minus 2x plus 4. So to find the inverse of this function, uh, we have to uh, solve this equation uh, for x in terms of y. That is, we need to find the values of uh, x here. That is, from this equation, we have minus 2x equal to y minus 4. So, that is, we have uh, x equal to minus y by 2 plus 4. Plus 4 by 2, that is 2. So, minus y by 2 plus 2. So, this will be the inverse of this function. So, this is equal to some g of y. So, uh, to obtain the graph of this actually we know the graph of this equation is when x equal when y equals 0 we have x equal to 2 when y equals 0 we have x equal to 2 if you are taking this as x axis and this as y axis so when x equal to 0 uh, yeah when y equal to 0 then we have x equal to 2 so this point and uh, when x equal to 0 we have y equal to minus 2 into 2 that is 4 itself. so this will be this point so this will be the graph of that function x equal to minus 1 by 2 y plus 2 keeping this as the y axis and this as x axis so in this case here we are taken taking this uh, y as the independent variable and x as the dependent variable so actually this graph of the function f inverse that is the graph of this function is obtained by flipping uh, this figure to interchange this y axis and the x axis so if you are interchanging this x and y axis or that we are flipping uh, uh, rotating like uh, uh, with respect to y equal to to x, we are flipping this uh, curve with respect to this line. That's, that is, we are flipping like this. So this point will be here, and this point will be here, right? So this will be the uh, recurred graph of the inverse function. Next, we can discuss another example. Find an inverse function for f of x equal to x cube. Also, graph f as in and its inverse. We have to uh, plot the graph of f and its inverse. So we have here uh, the function y equal to x cube. So solving this equation for x in terms of y, we get y uh, x, x equal to uh, cube root of y. So this will be the inverse. So uh, the cube root of cube root function g of y equal to square cube root of y is the inverse of this function y f of x equal to x cube. So if we need to find the uh, plot the graphs of f and inverse, here we have the 
function y equal to x cube. So the graph of the function uh, y equal to x cube is like this. You know, this is the graph of the function x cube. So if you are going to find the uh, graph of the inverse function of this, so uh, we have to interchange this uh, or we have to flip this uh, graph with respect to the curve y equal to x. So flipping this curve, we will get this graph. Okay, flipping this uh, curve with respect to the line y equal to x, we will get uh, this graph. Okay, so this will be flipped like this. Okay, graph, graph will be this. So here we have y and this is x. So if you are interchanging or renaming this uh, uh, the variables, so if you are taking this as x and this as y, we will get the function will be uh, here if we have x equal to cube root of y. So our function, required function will be y equal to cube root of x if you are interchanging these uh, variables. Okay, next we have a not, uh, not every function has an inverse. We, we, can, we, we cannot guarantee that every function has an inverse. Okay, for example, consider the function f of x equal to x square or y equal to x square. We know the graph of the function is like this. f of x equal to x square is this. Here we can uh, prove that this function has no inverse. So, if you are solving this equation or if you are trying to find the inverse of this function, we will get x square equal to y implies x square equal to y implies x is equal to plus or minus square root of y. Okay. But this does not give x as a function defined for all y. Because we have, if we are taking y less than 0, here we have y x equal to square root of y plus or minus square root of y. If you are taking y less than 0, then square root of y is not defined. So, uh, so in that case, we can say that this is not a function. And if we are taking y greater than 0, then we have two choices for x for any choice of y. For example, if you are taking choosing y equal to 4, then x is equal to plus or minus root to 4 that is equal to plus or minus 2. So for an x value, we will get two y values. Okay. So sorry, for an for a y value, we'll get two x values here. So this x equal to plus or minus root y is not a function in that case also. That is for a for, for a single value, we'll get a uh, uh, more than one values for uh, uh, x. So it is not a function in that case. So if you are considering the uh, va values for y as all real numbers, then it will not be a function. Okay, the inverse, is, this is actually is not a function. Geometrically, we can uh, verify this. Uh, we know the function, the graph of the function y equal to x square is this. So if you are uh, flipping this uh, curve with respect to y equal to x then we get this curve so this is actually x equal to plus or minus root of y so from this graph it is clear that this is no, uh, it's not a fun graph of a function because if you are taking this point corresponding to this point we have two values corresponding to this y value here we have y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable so uh, if you are uh, taking this point for y then we corresponding to this point we can find two values for x that is if you are drawing vertical lines here it, it will uh, pass through more than one points on this curve so this is not uh, a function right now we can discuss another example let f of x equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 restrict f to a suitable interval so that it has an inverse also find the inverse function and sketch its graph. So here we are given a function f of x equal to x square plus 2x plus 3. If we put f of x as y, so y equal to x square plus 2x plus 3. We need to uh, find uh, a, a inverse function or, or we need to restrict f to a suitable interval such that it has an inverse. So uh, taking y equal to x square plus 2x plus 3, we have x square plus 2x plus 3 minus y equal to 0. So solving this for x, we have x equal by quadratic formula we have x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a here a equal to uh, the coefficient of x square it is 1 b equal to coefficient of uh, x it is 2 and c equal to the constant term that is 3 minus y here so uh, using this we get x equal to minus b minus b plus or minus that is minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square is 4 
minus 4 into a into c, a is 1, c is 3 minus y, divided by 2. So, divided by 2 here. This is actually, uh, this is equal to minus 2, dividing this by 2, we get minus 1 plus or minus, taking 4 outside, we get 2 divided by 2, that is square root of y minus 2, that is 1 minus 3 plus y, that is y minus 2. So, minus 1 plus or minus root of y minus 2. So, this is what we obtained when we uh, solved this equation for x in terms of y. Okay. Now, here we have to restrict this f function f uh, to a suitable interval so that it has an inverse. Okay. So, if we, if we have the inverse, it will be of this form x equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of y minus 2. So, if we choose y greater than or equal to 2, actually here we have square root of y minus 2. So, this is uh, defined only when y is greater than or equal to 2. So, if we choose y greater than or equal to 2 and we are choosing this positive sign, then we get x equal to minus 1 plus root of y minus 2. So, in that case, y is greater than or equal to 2 implies we get x is equal to minus 1 plus root of this. That this is greater than or equal to 0. So, it will be uh, x is greater than or equal to minus 1 plus 0. That is x is greater than or equal to minus 1. Because y minus 2, when x is, uh, y is greater than or equal to 2, we have square root of y minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So, this x is greater than or equal to minus 1. So, we obtained here uh, the x has this form x equal to minus 1 plus or minus uh, root of y minus 2. That means we have these two uh, functions minus 1 plus root of y minus 2 and uh, x equal to minus 1 minus root of y minus 2. So, in both these cases, we have to choose y greater than or equal to 2 because here we have the square root function. So, y should be greater than or equal to 2. And if you are taking this function to restrict uh, the restriction y greater than or equal to 2 implies we have x greater than or equal to minus 1. So, the given function f has an inverse only if x greater than or equal to minus 1. So, we have to restrict our function such that x belongs to minus 1 infinity. So, uh, in that case, if you are uh, graphically, we can uh, express this like this. Because we have the function y equal f of x equal x square plus 2x plus 3. We know this is x square plus 2x uh, plus 1 plus 2. This is actually x plus 1 whole square plus 2. That is y minus 2 equal to x plus 1 whole square. So, this is a uh, parabola with the vertex minus 1 comma 2. Right. So, this is this minus 1 and this is 2. So, with this vertex. So, this is a parabola with the vertex minus 1 and 2 and opening uh, upward. Okay. So, we know uh, when we flip this curve uh, with, uh, with respect to the axis, uh, with respect to the line y equal to x, we get this. Right. We get this as uh, our uh, uh, inverse. But if you are drawing a vertical lines here, we, we have the two points coinciding in this uh, curve. So, it is not a function. So, to make this inverse as a function, we have to consider this values only for x. This actually, if you are considering the values for x greater than or equal to minus 1, we have the corresponding uh, curve will be this only. Okay, that is the corresponding curve will be like this. So, in that case, it will be a, a, a function. Okay, in a similar way, we can consider this also, this domain for f as this minus infinity minus 1. If you are considering this as domain, then we will get the function only this as like, like this. So, here we have this and here we have this. So, this is also uh, a function. But if you are considering the uh, domain of f as minus infinity to infinity, that is all these values, then uh, the inverse function or the graph of the inverse will be like this, but it, is, it, it will not be uh, a function. So, the given function y equal to f of x equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 has an inverse only if, if we restrict the domain as minus 1 to infinity or minus infinity to minus 1. Okay, if you are restricting the domain of this f as minus 1 to infinity, then the inverse will be this and it will the graph will be like this. Okay, this only. And if you are restricting the uh, domain of f as minus infinity to minus 1. So, then we will get the inverse as x, x equal to minus 1 minus root of y minus 2 for y greater than or equal to 2 and x less than or equal to minus 1. Right. So, uh, 
we'll get uh, the inverse function like this the graph of the inverse function will be only this part this dotted line part okay next we can discuss another example sketch the graph of the inverse function for each of this function in this figure so we are given three uh, graphs of functions so we have to uh, sketch the inverse uh, the graph of the inverse functions inverse of these functions okay so for this curve we have if you are flipping this uh, with respect to the line y equal to x axis uh, y equal to x so we'll get this this as the graph of the inverse function and if for this we get like this same because we are flipping this uh, or interchanging this x axis and y axis so we'll get like this and graph of this uh, the uh, graph of the inverse function for this will be like this okay that is if flipping this with respect to y equal to x or interchanging x and y next one uh, we have uh, a simple geometrical test for uh, checking invertibility that is uh, to uh, to check whether a function is invertible or not that is inverse exists or not a function is invertible if each horizontal line meets the graph in at most one point that is because okay, here we have if this is our function f then if this is uh, the inverse so we know if you are uh, this is not a function because if you are drawing vertical lines the, it will meet more than one points in on the curve okay that means uh, here we are drawing the vertical lines so in that case uh, if uh, it has this curve has an inverse if uh, this is not uh, these vertical lines are not meeting uh, more than one points uh, so uh, in a similar way we can see that this is, is uh, this function has an inverse if this curve does not meet more than one point this curve this uh, horizontal lines does not meet more than one point and on this curve see here in this in this uh, problem we can see that the horizontal curves meets more than one points right so it, it has no inverse so if if uh, if you are restricting the domain for uh, as minus one infinity is when we have this curve like this this only so this this one this, this curve will run only our uh, uh, graph of our function if you are restricting minus one to infinity as domain then if you are drawing a vertical li uh, horizontal lines then it will meet uh, at most one point right so uh, then in that case it has an inverse okay also if you are considering the only left part of this uh, then also it has an inverse so we can uh, have uh, this method or this geometrical test for invertibility checking that is a function is invertible or a function has an inverse if each horizontal line meets the graph in at most one point so by using that we can solve this example determine whether or not each function in figure is invertible on its domain okay so we have to check whether these functions are invertible or not okay so here the domain is uh, in this first one the domain is uh, 0 to infinity so if you are drawing uh, horizontal lines all the horizontal line uh, meets uh, on this curve in a single point so it is invertible this is invertible that means this uh, function has an inverse this function has an inverse now if you are drawing horizontal lines in the second one we can see that here it, this means only one at one, one point and this also at one point this means only at one point so this means uh, only at one point but in this case this uh, curve or this horizontal line not meeting uh, only at one point it's meeting three or two points okay so in that case we can see that it is not invertible not invertible that is inverse does not exist inverse does not exist okay in, now in the third one it is we you know it is clearly it is invertible because all the uh, horizontal lines meet on this curve at uh, at most once right so this is also invertible so in this uh, the figure a and c are invertible the, the uh, uh, graphs of invertible functions right